morning. It's Monday. Cheers, mate. And I'm at the Royal, Royal Alumshire Hospital in Sheffield. Close that window a bit, gets a bit noisy here. Bringing loved ones into care. Uh, you know, this is a service road that we come to here. It's, it can be a nightmare. I don't know if I can show you actually. I don't think this is going to come off. What if it does not know how to put it back on? Hang on a second. So this is a service road here. But we have to wait. I see. Because they're unloading and loading further up. So I've just been into Mortry. Uh, no, I don't know how to put this back on. That's it. Come back. I've uh, just been into Mortry. But now you've just got to wait to get out because these just block everything up. Don't get me on about ranting and raving about this. Nightmare. Anyway. I've got cold. I think everybody has. So teams on service at the moment up at Upcliffe Wood. I might bring in loved ones into care. I'm going to medical legal centre next. Uh, and I've been to Doncaster this morning to bring a gentleman into care who sadly passed away. Who wants to use our services? So. It's been a busy weekend for everybody uh, and I just thought well I'll put some of it on because I'm going to have a five or ten minute wait here I usually do anyway it's crazy that you've got to just get in queue this skip wagon in front he might be waiting for somebody else see loading bays it's a bloody nightmare but never mind most hospitals at the same so I hope you've all had a good weekend uh, and are staying safe I think when Covid were on he's looking back at me thinking oh, what the fuck's he talking to uh, who the hell is he talking to? There's one funeral that it's put with a bringing our profession into disrepute, swearing on this uh, YouTube. He's probably having sex with his secretary, this arsehole, who says about swearing. He don't swear, obviously, uh, bringing profession into disrepute. So if you're looking at this, Nigel, just be careful. If you put it on here, I might mention your second name and I might also mention your secretary's name. So don't act clever putting shit on, alright? Nigel. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I didn't have cold while we were well, when we had COVID. And when we were in lockdown, I don't think anybody caught cold. Nah, I can't seem to get bloody rid of it. And it's come with a vengeance this time. Uh, I'm sick to death for it. I like social distancing actually. I like keeping my distance. It's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. I think we should all do it. Keep six foot away from everybody. This kid's coming now, look. Oh, we're looking at me going up. Right. So, one's gone. Can move forward, I think. I don't know where he's going now. This one, yeah. All right, mate. Just got to stand well clear. Vehicle reversing. No good morning, is it? They've got a job to do, we've got a job to do. Might as well just get on with it. And before Wooden Spoon or any arsehole starts, he ain't got his seatbelt on, I'm putting it on. Might see on a private road at the moment, anyway. So that's it, I'm just leaving here. I'm going down to Coroner's next. Like I said, it, it's manically busy. I can't believe how busy it is. 
think we've got about 38 people in care. Yeah, we didn't have colds, did we? And also during lockdown, there were no colds. Nobody had cold, and then all of a sudden, everybody's got bloody cold. And it's because we're going out and mixing with people and germs. Uh, horrible. So, sorry. See, I'm, I'm a very careful driver, as you can tell. And that's all I've got to say. Not a lot really. Bit of a rant about parking up here. Bit of a moan about having cold like we've all got. And a really busy day. It's, uh, I don't think we've got a break today. In fact, Dave Emmingham did say this morning, I might not get my dinner. We were going to scum, uh, not scum folk, Donny half seven this morning and he says I might not get my dinner today uh, well joint club mess I mean they're fag bubblies by the way so my fag bubblies there me fag I've got them uh, sticker things on my arm today transparent things how oh, I am because they feed nicotine in while I'm not enjoying bubbles. Quite addicted to nicotine. I love the stuff. Uh, calms me down. So I have like a clear patch on my arm, which I like. Because you can't always chew bubbles. Or oh, puff on this fag. Or oh, have my pipe. Yeah, I'm still on with pipe, by the way. Still loving pipe. Uh, absolutely love it. So I have a pipe when I want to sit down and relax and have no to do for 10 minutes. Sit down and have my pipe. Oh god, it's heaven. Absolute heaven. And it's that many different backers for it. It's unreal. I've got a church warden's pipe now, it's a very long one. And apparently in Victorian days you used to stick it through church window church wardens had put it through a window don't know why but anyway got one of them Cheryl bought it me and it's lovely I love it great long one so I'm almost here at the medical legal centre uh, once I finish here I'll go back to base and then I think I'm not too sure but I think I'm going to Chesterfield Hospital get all over the place honestly seriously uh, I'm gonna end up getting a passport at this rate so have a good day everybody thanks for liking the channel thanks for subscribing to my channel I know I'm not like rest where I've got loads to say and trying to sell you stuff I'm not I just have a run so but if you like it thanks very much and I'll speak to you all later